uh, just You don't imagine. know what you're going to find when no, you open the no, door. No, no, you don't. Not only that, but the 911 calls that started flooding in at 9.30 this morning, our law enforcement responded. They responded without knowing exactly what they were going to find there at Sandy Hook Elementary School. They knew that they very possibly had a very serious situation on their hands. And in the moments that unfolded following, they found out just how serious and grim this situation was. And credit uh, to you know the state police, the governor, uh, for making sure that the families of the victims knew before saying how many people lost their lives in that school. Because for the longest time, you know, this morning, all we could really report was there was a shooting. You know, we know a teacher was shot in the foot. Uh, you know, no deaths reported at that time. You know, there was a delay. They knew all along uh, the details, the, the, the scope and breadth of this massacre of kids and six people in the school, teachers and staff. But, you know, they couldn't say, understandably so, until... The moms, the dads, the families, brothers, sisters, and grandparents all learned of uh, this tragedy and that they had lost their, their little loved ones or their, uh, you know, the six teachers as well. We, we don't want to forget the adults in all yeah. this. Yeah, they were there protecting those children, trying to. You know, you think about the parents and you send your child off to school. This is supposed to be a safe place. That, uh, that feeling and that innocence certainly robbed today there in, in Newtown. And it'll be curious to see how, how life goes on at that school. Um, you know, clearly they'll have counselors in there um, for a while. I don't know how long when, when you have a scope, you know, a tragedy of this scope. Yeah. But another sad part is really this is what people will know Newtown, Connecticut for. Yeah. You know, it's such a nice town. It's beautiful. You know, Sandy Hook as a community within a very nice community. But, you know, like we know Littleton, Colorado uh, for Columbine, or Aurora, Colorado, which, you know, is very nice as far as I know, for um, the theater shootings. Yeah. Now people are going to know Newtown, Connecticut for the, for the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School. That's what they're going to know Newtown for, and that's an awful shame. And, you know, Adam Lanza, who the AP is reporting as the shooter, has um, etched his name in Connecticut history in, in blood. In the worst way. Yeah. We do have uh, some more uh, sounds, some more interviews that were done uh, this morning as all of this was unfolding. And again, it, it isn't over. State police saying that this is still very much an active investigation. But we just want to take you back uh, to earlier uh, this morning when this was all unfolding to listen to what some parents and, and children had to say. Let's take a listen. Another friend of mine said that um, there was a man, a masked man came in and just started shooting. So I don't know how he came in because every time you go in you have to ring a bell and they can see you from the office and they know who you are and they let you in. So I don't know if it's somebody they knew. When we were gone doing morning meeting, we, we heard like shots and everybody went on the ground and Mr. Martin just closed the door and we went to the corner. Again, the first calls coming in to uh, 911 just after 9.30 this morning. The school day really just getting underway at Sandy Hook Elementary. A lot of these children, uh, faculty and staff looking forward to next week. It's uh, one of the best times to, of the year to be a kid. It should be. You it know, should you're be, looking absolutely. forward to Christmas or you're going to light the menorah candle when you get home at sundown. And, you know, everything just turns upside down on one of the happiest times of the year in, you know, a picturesque Fairfield County suburb called Newtown. And it really, it, it's, it's nothing we have ever experienced before in Connecticut. It is nothing we ever wanted to or ever want to again. We've had our share of awful, awful crimes and tragedies. But uh, this just ranks right up at the top of the list. And, and again, you know, You've got police officers there, and heaven knows what they were talking about. Perhaps they were among those who, who saw the, the carnage and, and the death and, and what those people are going through. Again, I can't imagine. You know, 